Okay, so what happened last set was uh, Zuyubu Royale run 2-0, but because he was in Loser's Final, we have a bracket reset um, coming in. So now we have a final best of three series, and the winner of this wins the entire tournament. Um, yeah, so we have, they decided to play Gen 8 first this time. Um, so we have um, both pretty standard teams for Gen 8. So the, oh, the strong balance, bulky balance cores with uh, fire type sweepers. Um, and no McGearness, though, as we're just going to see knock exchange from both sides. Um, it's probably better to knock off the plus item than it is the uh, Texas item. Actually, the Texas helmet is probably bigger. Plus, just going to knock off again. As yeah, so we're just going to get into a knockoff war here, as neither wants to switch to lose their item. Yeah, it seems like Pex's only attacking move is going to be knock off this game, as it just recovers. Just not when you get chipped down too early. Yeah. We're just going to be engaged in a knockoff war as neither wants to switch to lose an item on another Pokemon, yet neither wants to, um... So, yeah. This will be very interesting. Now they're taking a little bit more time to think about their turn. If they click uh, knockoff, both click knockoff again, this is going to be kind of upsetting. Yeah. So, yeah. The, um... Yeah, they both got very... I guess Zugubu is still sticking with his team, still running a semi stall team. While, uh... A, uh, uh AFR is running a, uh, a uh, more balanced style team with the Dragapult that I missed the first time around. Uh, Moonblast coming out, not doing it on This... it's... Just... Knockoff is just not doing enough damage. It slowly, ha it hasn't even forced the uh, the clef to. Uh... Uh, recover. Uh, the clef finally recovers after what six after ten knockoffs. It was forced to recover. Yeah, knockoff is just not doing enough damage to the uh, the clef to really get anywhere, but. This is unfortunately the way games have to play out when you have uh, this type of scenario. Moonblast, as they're both just trying to chip each other down. Pax will eventually run out of knockoffs. Oh, okay. So we're really PowerPoint stalling on the first two months. Okay. All right, then. So they both recover up back up to full health, so we will be doing this for a while, as neither of them wants to switch into an attack from the other. So, enjoy! As we will sit here for the next 10 minutes as these two bonds, finally we see a switch into the Excadrill. As Hayes comes out, Excadrill will be getting, getting in for free, going for rocks. So knockoff comes out. Knocking off the extra goes off reverse. Switches in on an Earth Egg. I don't know if that was the right Mon to switch in when Mandibuzz was sitting right there, but seems like AFD is a little bit tilted as this Hippo is just getting a ton of good chip damage with Earthquake right now as it just gets rocks up. Don't know how huge that's going to be when you have an extra drill and a Mandibuzz to get rid of them, and we are back in this scenario again. So. We're going to get to sit here for even longer as these two moms do the exact same thing they did last time until the Pex runs out of knockoffs, which hopefully will be soon. I got 12 left. It's 
Excadrill's gonna come in. On a Scald from the backs. Doesn't get burned, which is lucky. Just gonna fire off an Earthquake. Only does 56 for sense. Fizz Death Pets for Urshifu, probably. And there's the burn. On Scald. Doesn't do enough to kill the packs as it just gets to recover. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna be locked in this little, uh, stalemate. Okay, so sorry for that. We are back with, uh, this. Oh. Looks like the, um, the Excadrill is slowly gonna die to its burn. Okay. Dragapult finally gets to do something as Draco did. to be able to break the uh, the semi stall core with only special attackers left. I could be wrong, but that Mandibuzz could have Toxic and it could Toxic the Blissey and the Mandibuzz and then wear down the Jirachi. But this Mandibuzz needs to come up big and then the, uh, the Dragapult can come in and finish it off, which is more than likely a Specs Dragapult. Seeing as that Hippo just completely dropped, Everyone loves Buff and Packs. So we're just gonna sit here while this happens. Tough Burn, it's not like it matters. Yeah, so this is what the third time this has happened this game where we just get to witness as neither of them wants to switch out of their bulky mon into another, into attack from the other, and lose their item. So this is Not good. Knockoff coming out. Finally, flipping with the pecs. I'm just get the scale back up pedal. I'm just trying to see uh, the, both pecs. One of the pecs gets the burn, the slowly being able to chip down the other as Cinderace comes in on the uh, cliff, which is huge. Then Henta unfortunately misses. That was a good prediction, but it misses. See the pegs come out on the potential Mandibuzz? No, Toxic. Both of uh, AF AFR's uh, offensive pieces have just been dropped at this point in the game. Dragapult's still around, but with the Blissey sitting there in front of it, I don't see a way for him to break it. The Metabus comes in. That's coming back out. This game, I don't see a way through this Blissey, which is unfortunate. Okay. 
Oh, we're just back with another stall wire. Just the unfortunate way this team works. Yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna see another forfeit from Palestine, as it seems he is. Or, uh, AF, uh, AFR, as he is just tilted a little bit, which is quite unfortunate, but understandable given the situation that happened to him earlier in this, uh, earlier in the previous set and in this set. So, uh, we'll see, uh, what he picks. He, will he pick Gen 7 again, trying to get the edge, or will he go for, um, Will he go for something, or we, or will he go for Gen Six? Don't we'll see. And they challenge again. Balance. The, the bulky balance cores are just um, really, really strong in the current meta, and once. Volk and uh, Skidrill went down, he was going to have much, much harder time breaking through the, that core. See the Blissey. Once Excadrill went down, the chances of breaking the Blissey just dropped dramatically. what the last um the next pick is gonna be I think we're gonna see Gen 6 again that was uh, the thing that AFR picked first means to be that he is the most comfortable in Gen 6 but do not know
Well, unfortunately, the uh, the last game was not fun to spectators, and we missed out on being able to see two very nice hyper offense teams fight against each other. But the result was that Gen Six Zugubu Royale took the game over A F A R F R A B S and won the tournament. So with a great run through losers, uh, Zugubu Royale was able to clutch out and win this tournament and the prize that goes with it. Um, and that ends the first se- uh, the first set of Season 3 Shutdown in Pallet Town. Hopefully the new format was good and we can do a little bit better with the commentary, uh, with the planning and uh, hopefully get a little bit of a better presentation going on the next time around.